Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Part two of my complete Blu-ray collection. Tub two, yes. Last tub before the next part when we head into the cinema room and go shelf by shelf. So let's get started, find out what's in the tub. Right, and this is a mixture. So we've got half, the top half is Blu-rays, the bottom half are steelbooks, because you wouldn't really put steelbooks on top of normal Blu-rays, you crush them. Right, okay, let us begin. I know I haven't got any lettuce, because I'm not allowed to have it, because it's got too much vitamin K. First up, Baywatch. I'll be there. Yeah, extended edition. Uh, I actually haven't seen this yet. Uh, this is supposed to be really funny, and it's got uh, uh, Alexandra Daddario, so I don't know why I haven't seen it. <laughs> but uh, big, bonkers, and brilliant. But it does look good. Uh, we have Che, or Chi, Che, with Benicio de Toro. A masterpiece from Steven Soderbergh, the director of Ocean's Eleven and Traffic. This is the two movie set. So this has got both parts one and two in it. And I've not seen this. I think that's going to be a running theme. Not seen that. <laughs> I do still actually have this one in my collection. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Even though it was hit and miss with me. At the cinema review i did go ahead and buy it i thought i'd give it another go which i haven't watched yet <laughs> so i still don't know if i really do like it or not what do you find at the top of a pencil eraser <laughs> bit of arnie classic stuff love this i love those rail guns blowing people apart Yes, from uh, outside the house. Really good. Good thriller. One of Arnie's best action films. And I have Mega Mind. I already have the 3D for this one. Uh, and I really picked this one up cheap because the 3D edition I've got just has the 3D movie. It doesn't have a Blu-ray, a 2D one. So I'll pick this one up cheap just so that I could take the three the uh the standard blu-ray out of it and put it in the other case so i've got both of the movies there punisher warzone in a really bad looking case really tatty and dirty um imported i don't know this must have been sent to me i think from one of my viewers um it does actually have inside artwork it really does need a new case. Uh, the disc is not too bad, actually. Um, I don't know who he is. P Punisher. Who is it? Ray Stevenson. I didn't know Ray Stevenson did a Punisher movie. There you go. Leave No Trace. This really does look good. Uh, this stars Ben Foster. And Thomasin Harcourt Mackenzie. Um, don't know too much about it. I think they kind of like cut themselves off from the, from the whole of the world. Uh, pretty much like now, isn't it, really? Um, and they get forced to move out of their house or something. Their hut in the jungle. That is one that I do want to see. Bolt. Really good animated movie. Uh, lovely slip on that one as well with some nice shine on it. Fantastic. Winchester with Helen Mirren, Jason Clarke as well. Uh, this is a horror film. This, uh, I believe, was sent to me as well by one of my lovely viewers. But guess what? I've not seen it. Oh, look, there's another film I've not seen. Jude Law. Black Sea, from the director of The Last King of Scotland and Touching the Void. The only thing more dangerous than the mission is its crew. Um, I might actually watch this one actually pretty soon because I do love a good submarine movie. 
Star Trek Beyond. Um, this was an exclusive Sainsbury's release um, because it came with a bonus disc, which I've slotted in my uh, steelbook. But uh, the main reason I bought this one also was the sleeve because it's gorgeous artwork. Liam Neeson, The Commuter. I've seen this one. <laughs> it's not not too bad. It's the usual Liam Neeson stuck in a situation, kick the bad guys ass. Not as good as the um, the one on the airplane. Still enjoyable. No Country for Old Men. Absolutely brilliant. Tommy Lee Jones, Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem with a really weird haircut. Um, and an oxygen tank, or an oxygen gun rather, but uh, he was really menacing in that. I love that. I love that film. Classic disaster movie from the 90s. Dante's Peak with Piers Brosnan and Sarah Connor herself, Linda Hamilton. Really good about a volcano that's going to go <laughs> say no more. Uh, this was sent to me as well. Um, I really want to watch this one because I think this will be quite heartwarming. It's actually, I think it might be a German release or a Belgian release. It's called The Straight Story. It's about a bloke that goes on a cross-country trip on a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I'm in film von David Lynch. So I'll take it's a film by David Lynch. Symptoms. This was also sent to me by one of my viewers. Don't know anything about it. Uh, don't know anybody that's in it. It's a BFI release. The Predator. This is the new Predator version that came out, which I actually I kind of enjoyed. I liked the um, the banter between all of the guys on the bus. Didn't have any problem with it. I liked it. I like it. Mirror Mirror with uh, Julia Roberts, Lily Collins and Army Hammer. Enjoyable, enjoyable, different take on kind of like Cinderella story, Snow White story. Um, I put it in a red case uh, because I thought it looked much better. But yeah, I enjoyed that film. Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. Some really nice, beautiful embossing on that. And uh, it's really nice release. They don't seem to do too many of these anymore. Um, I really do like the packaging on this. It's like one of these gate folds and you've got all the discs. And you've got a little booklet in there as well. And nice artwork. This is actually quite an old release. This is like one of the... When the film first came out on Blu-ray. One of Nicolas Cage's best films. Knowing. Another end of the world film. Which is very appropriate for now. Not that we're going to get burnt up by a solar flare or anything. Well I hope we're not. <laughs> uh, hot off the trail of Sin City. The Spirit. Similar type of look to it cartoony black and white comic strip type of thing with Sarah Paulson, Scarlett Johansson, Samuel L. Jackson, Eva Mendes and Gabriel Mack. Um, it's time to believe in heroes. From the creator of Sin City and 300, the extended cut. Really good film that is. If you like um, Sin City, you'll like it. Death Race with Jason Statham, um, in my opinion, the only death race you really need to own. The others are just there. Missing Link, nice animated movie. Not seen it yet though. How do you know it's a nice animated movie then? <laughs> uh, includes a sticker sheet inside. So if I get bored, I can always decorate the Poundland bin. Cold Pursuit, Liam Neeson, uh, Taken meets Fargo, apparently. 
So um, I'm looking forward to watching that one. I've heard mixed things about it, but I've not seen it. It is in the flick bin, so it, hopefully it could get picked out at any time. One of my guilty pleasures, way ahead of its time, Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. Incredible animated, um, kind of like Mary Poppins. No, I know it's no nothing like Mary Poppins. You know how Mary Poppins captured real life people and the animated characters and stuck them together. Kind of like that, but with humans and CGI backgrounds and futuristic backgrounds, probably green screen. But um, astonishing as technical achievement and terrific fun. It really is. And a great bleeding soundtrack. I love the music for this. Uh, Jude Law, Angelina Jolie and uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. One of my favourites. It's a shame they never did a, um, a sequel to that one. Kellen Lutz. Origin Wars. Looks quite good. Looks a bit like sci-fi alien. It says here Star Wars meets Mad Max. Uh, it's a low budget film, but um, I do want to watch it. Final Destination 2. This is the one with the highway and the, uh, the lorry with the logs on the back. Which now, if I ever drive down the motorway and I'm behind one of those, I floor it past it. Because I ain't getting stuck behind one of them again. I got stuck behind one of them on the way to Westwood Cross once. I'd nearly pooped my pants. <laughs> 12 Strong with Chris Hemsworth. I picked this one up full price. Uh, this one actually has been in Poundland. Really good film. Really good. It's the declassified true story of the horse soldiers. Brilliant, brilliant action scenes as well. Um, is, is this Paul, is this Wes Anderson? Yeah, Wes Anderson. Isle of Dogs. Woof. Uh, not seen it. Uh, looks fun. Uh, I also haven't seen The Fabulous Mr. Fox, I think it is, which is another one of his. But, um, <laughs> have we got time to watch all these movies? <laughs> Jane Got a Gun. I don't know who she shot, but she got a gun. Natalie Portman in a Western. Uh, also stars Joel Edgerton and Ewan McGregor. And this is a Poundland uh, movie, which also comes with a nice red case. So if you're not bothered about the film, you find it in Poundland for a quid or two, you can get yourself a nice red case. I kept it with a red case because it blends well. A uh, very 50-50 movie, wasn't very popular at the time and is not one of Tom Cruise's most popular ones. Night and Day with Tom Cruise and Charlize Theron, uh, not Charlize Theron, Cameron Diaz. It's been a long time since I've seen this one. I really don't remember much about it. The only thing I remember is something to do with um, a hostage situation on an aeroplane or something. But uh, I really didn't need to watch that one again, actually. Taken 2. Extended Harder Cut. Uh, no matter what anybody says, I actually do like this one. Not as good as uh, Taken. But uh, it's a good continuation. With uh, all the family members that he killed in the first one. Rallying together and going out for some revenge. Life. Also been in Poundland as well. Uh, I also have the steel book for this one as well, with Jake Gyllenhaal, Rebecca Ferguson, Ferguson and Ryan Reynolds. This is a corker. This is one of the best space science fiction horror films I've seen in years. This is along the lines of Alien, uh, and it's got a nice twist at the end that I never saw coming. And both my mum and me saw this in the cinema. And it sent chills down our spines. I love the ending. It just leaves it on a, oh my God, ending. Great, great film. Train to Busan, with a nice slip. 
Um, a heart pop it, pumping action throughout. The best zombie film since 28 Days Later, according to the back. Um, it does look good. This actually, I might actually leave this one out because I want to watch this one uh, because it's kind of appropriate now with the end of the world. <laughs> but uh, Train to Busan, I've never seen it. Um, apparently there is another a, a sequel coming. Changeling with Angelina Jolie, really good film, also with uh, John Malkovich. Monsters vs. Aliens, really good heartwarming animated movie. Uh, includes all new adventures, Bob's Big Break in 3D. Uh, this isn't actually the 3D movie, so unfortunately. Um, and the Bob's Big Break 3D is the red and blue glasses, not the other 3D. But I do think Monsters vs. Aliens is available in the regular 3D that you can buy. The Uninvited. This was sent to me by one of my viewers as well. It's got a sticker on the back. From the producers of The Ring and Disturbia. Um, need to watch this one. This was 13 quid when this first came out. Uh, that also needs a, a new Blu-ray case because it's a bit tatty. I think they might be like X-Rentals or something. Wind River. Brilliant film. Fantastic film. Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen as they go on the investigation of someone murdered out in the snowy wilderness and uh, trying to get peace together. You know, who was there? How did this person die? And getting involved in the local Indian reserve as well. Brilliant film. Mom and Dad, um, Nicholas Cage and Selma Blair. I think this is something to do about uh, the parents of kids just going apeshit and trying to kill their kids, which I suspect a lot of parents will be trying to do <laughs> in about 12 weeks time. <laughs> Zero Dark Thirty, bloody good film. The greatest manhunt in history from the writer and director of The Hurt Locker. The hunt for... Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> Doomsday. Unrated. Uh, don't remember too much about this. I've only watched it once. Uh, it does star Sean Pertwee and it's from director Neil Marshall. Um, it's kind of Mad Max-ish. If that's a word. Mad Max-ish. The Spy Who Dumped Me. Quite a funny comedy. Mila Kunis. That's all you need to know. One of the best submarine movies of all time. Also has John Bon Jovi in it. Acting. U571. Really good. Love that film. Dolby Atmos. <laughs> this is just a Dolby Atmos test Blu-ray. So you can get the best out of your sound system. Well, we're nearly getting into the steelbooks now. Forbidden Planet. This is um, uh, Leslie Nielsen when he was doing serious stuff before we went all funny with um, Lakey Gun and all that kind of stuff. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Really good. Francis McDormand is absolutely brilliant in this. Woody Harrelson's good. Sam Rockwell, probably one of Sam Rockwell's best, best roles. Calvary uh, with Brendan Gleeson. Don't know too much about it. I think it's set in Ireland. From the writer and director of The Guard, which was in yesterday's tub. And um, I just picked this one up in um, CEX. I think it was in Maidstone. So I don't know what that one's like. Game Night. Very funny comedy. Uh, brilliant performance by Jesse Plemons, I think it is, who plays uh, the cop next door. 
Detroit with a nice slip with a bit of nice little bit of embossing on it. Uh, and this has got um, what's his name? Will Will Porter and John Boyoga. Apparently that's quite a tense film. The thin red line, not the thin blue line, that was with Rowan Atkinson. Yes, this is directed by Terence Malick, brilliant atmospheric war film. Um, less action than Saving Private Ryan, but very atmospheric. <coughs> really good film. Satan's Blade, uh, sent to me by one of my viewers. It's an arrow release. <coughs> Ouija, Origin of Evil. I think this, this was sent to me by one of my viewers as well. I don't know if this is the first film or the second film or however many films there's been. But uh, I haven't seen any of the Ouija films. Ah! I might keep this one out as well. Dead Snow 2. Uh, Red versus Dead. So this is the sequel to the one that Andy Collects sent me. Um, so it might be a good idea to actually watch these back to back. So I'll put that to one side. Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan. Uh, director's cut. The only reason I picked this up. The director's cut disc. So empty case. <laughs> a street cat named Bob. Here he is. Apparently there is going to be a sequel to this as well. Um, I haven't actually seen this all the way through, but uh, I can't wait to watch it. Pompeii, with a nice lenticular slip, with Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones. Not a bad film. I think this is available in 3D as well. I do remember watching the 3D in the cinema, and it was good 3D. Aftermath with Arnold Schwarzenegger, stepping away from killing cyborgs and and um, blowing up crap and telling people to put their cookies down. Um, his family, entire family, uh, die on a plane crash and he's left to pick up the pieces and try and come to you no know, realisation that his family are gone and trying, trying to pull together. Also a bit of a a conspiracy as to who is responsible as well, whether it be like um, the flight controllers or, or, or if it was pilot error or something like that. Another Arrow release, uh, this was sent to me by one of my viewers, Malatest Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. I'll have to keep these Arrow ones out so that I can do a... Uh, a complete arrow collection. Arrow? There's me arrows. Right, uh, have we got one more? Yeah, I've got one more. Oh. Yeah, one more. And then we want for the steel books. Beyond Skyline with a really nice slip. Skyline I enjoyed. A lot of people didn't like it, but I thought it was a really good film. This is a good sequel. Right, steel books time. Uh, most of these, I think all of these are in protective cases as well. We were soldiers. With Mel Gibson. Brilliant war film. Absolutely brilliant war film. I'll move along a little bit. Because I'm running out of space. The Last Witch Hunter. With Vin Diesel. That one's actually got a nice bit of. Uh, or debossing. On the cover there. Um, I don't know if this is 3D or just standard 2D. It's just the standard 2D, but I think this is available in 3D. In fact, I think the 3D disc may have actually been in Poundland, so maybe I should have picked up the 3D disc while I had the chance. Uh, Mark Wahlberg in Shooter, really good film. This became a TV series uh, on either Amazon or Netflix, starring Ryan Philippe, or Philippi, uh, and it was really good. I saw the first two seasons. So I think there is another season I need to catch up on, but that's the original film. The Adventures of Tintin. 
Um, this was when they didn't bother putting titles down the spines. Or on the font for that matter. Good film. Uh, could do with a sequel. Sweeney Todd. The Demon Barber off Fleet Street. And this is with Johnny Depp. Uh, when this film originally aired in the cinemas, when it was when it first came out, I actually walked out of the cinema. Um, not because I didn't like the film. I had a lot of stuff on my mind at the time. And um, it's probably one of the only films that I've ever walked out of. But not because I didn't like the film. Dragon Blade with Jackie Chan, John Cusack and Adrian Brody. Need to watch that one. Haven't seen that one. Despicable Me Too. Into the Woods with Johnny Depp and... Uh, Meryl Streep and Chris, Pri uh, Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Uh, part of this was actually filmed here in Dover at Dover Castle, and I've got some photographs uh, of Chris Pine on the set. Uh, also, Anna Kendrick as well. Crimson Peak uh, from Guillermo de Toro with uh, Tom Hiddleston. I've actually not seen that. But it does look very creepy. You're next. I think this is a German steel book. Mordecai. This is a import as well. I think maybe from either Germany or France. 10,000 BC from Roland Emmerich, um, from uh, the director of Independence Day and the Day After Tomorrow. Uh, pretty good, pretty good from what I remember. May need to give it another watch. Guardians. Not seen this, really want to see this. Uh, this is the Russian version of the Avengers. So you've got beasts, demons. This is basically the Russians version of Marvel. Um, comes with one disc. Um, the original disc that it came with didn't have English subtitles. So I picked up the UK release, the standard release for it, and just swapped the discs out because it had English subtitles. I think it might have an English dub as well, but... Yeah, I might watch that one, actually, because um, it even looks like the Winter Soldier. It's Russia's version of the Avengers. Rocky. What else do you think it was for that? <laughs> oh, dear me. What we got? Priest with Paul, Pe Paul Pettany. Paul Bettany. Um... Seen it once. Don't remember much about it. I don't remember actually liking it that much, but I might give it another go. It's got some good, like, bat pods on there as well. Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. Ron Burgundy. Do you know what? I've never seen any of the Anchorman movies. Skyfall. One of the uh, original steelbook releases. Kind of dull. I'll probably get rid of this one. I'll probably sell that to CEX or something. Uh, once I get the 4Ks of, uh, <coughs> of the new films. Skyline. This is the first film. This is on steelbook. And I think this is German as well. It's got all German writing on the back. Lawless with Tom Hardy, really good film. And down the bottom there, it has debossed bullet holes. Really good. Love the design of that still book. And there's loads on the back as well. Mm. 
Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, which is, I think it's the middle film, film number two. Pixels. Um, the 3D Pixels was also in Poundland. I don't know if this is 3D. No, it's not. It's got the Blu-ray and the DVD. Uh, I might actually ditch the DVD because I do have, I did actually pick up Pixels 3D from Poundland because it had the clear case. Um, and I might just stick the, uh, the 3D disc in there in, in the place of the DVD. The Maze Runner. This was the first one. I think this was an HMV exclusive steelbook. Robin Hood, the director's cut with um, Russell Crowe. I can't remember his name. Tom Cruise in Minority Report. And this is time when they used to print everything on the back of a steel book instead of just putting a J card. This is when we used to have it packed. Look, a title on the front and a title on the spine. This is before they started getting lazy. 22 Jump Street. Never seen it. The A-Team. Good. I enjoyed this film. Really good. Good movie version. Horns with Daniel Radcliffe. Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa. I am Siege Face. <laughs> Colin Meany is in that as well. Old Chief O'Brien from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Predestination. Ethan Hawke, I believe. I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, Ethan Hawke. Prince of, Pr Prince of Persia. Sands of Time, another one with a printed back, but a nice design still book. Buried with Ryan Gosling, I believe. Yeah, oh no, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Look at the dust. Dear me. That's because it's not in a case, that one. Angry Birds, just a standard Blu-ray. Mine, really good film, really good. Better bloke that steps on a mine out in the desert and he can't move, because if he moves, he'll blow up. This wasn't really a still book, this was a sticker book. Sometimes this sometimes they did sticker books and it's just a silver steel book with a sticker stuck on the front and this is the extraordinary adventures of Adele Blanc Sec and this is from Luc Besson uh, it didn't have any artwork in the middle in the in, inside uh, you got some artwork cards so I did some artwork and put that inside just to make it look look less plain but of course, I haven't seen it. <coughs> Gangster Squad. Good film. I love the back of this. It's kind of like Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Real life Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Good film with Josh Brolin. Bad Grandpa, <laughs> Johnny Knoxville, this is The Witch uh, and this is actually autographed, uh, personally signed by I believe the actress in the film 
This was lovingly sent to me by Jamie Powell. There is actually a photograph as well of her sign in it, which I have in one of my other containers. So when I dig the other container out from above, from up above my wardrobe, um, I'm going to put the photograph inside. Transcendence with Johnny Depp. I believe this is, I think, a German steelbook as well. Bobo Cop. Completely forgot I actually had the steelbook of the NAF Robocop. Twenty one Jump Street. White House Down. No title on the spine. Bad boys. The Fifth Wave. Chloe Grace Moretz. Kind of a very boring plain front, but at least it does have a spine title. Total Recall, the uh, remake with Colin Farrell and Kate Beckinsale. And believe it or not, this is good. Fan Four Stick. This was an HMV exclusive, I believe. The original Lethal Weapon. Battle Los Angeles. Really good alien invasion movie on the streets of LA. The Signal. Um, are you agitated? which was sent to me also by Jamie Powell. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to watching that one. The Magnificent Seven, also an HMV exclusive. This is the, uh, the remake with Chris Pratt and Denzel Washington. Not a bad film. Unknown with Liam Neeson. Chernobyl Diaries, really good. If you like the the, uh, the series Chernobyl, give that a go. Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit with Chris Pine. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. The Adjustment Bureau with Matt Damon. X2, X-Men United. Star Trek Into Darkness. After Earth, M. Night Shyamalan, Will Smith and his boy, Jaden, I think it is. No spine title. Safe House with Ryan Reynolds and Denzel Washington. Cabin in the Woods, really good, Liam Hemsworth. Rampart with Woody Harrelson. Can't remember much about it. What's that? Animated Marvel features. I think it's um I think it's maybe the Avengers animated. Pitch Black with Vin Diesel. The best of the Riddick series. Resident Evil Retribution.
The Aviator with Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. <laughs> Minions. Non stop. The aeroplane one. Green Zone with Matt Damon. Good action film. Superman the movie. Oh, nearly there. The Walking Dead, the complete third season. This was the original release. It was actually a jumbo, but then they released a slimmed down version in France. So I bought the French one and swapped the discs out. So this has got the French discs in it. Resident Evil Afterlife. Dark Shadows with Johnny Depp. Two more. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy with Gary Oldman. And the last one. Snow White and the Huntsman. Brilliant. Okay, so that is tub two down. So we're done in here. Uh, the next video we can hop off over into the cinema room and start going shelf by shelf. I'll probably start with the Marvel shelf as it's the, the top one. But uh, also have to clear out the Star Wars figures along the top um, so I can go through my TV collection as well. But I might do that in a separate video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share, and I shall see you in the next video.